I suppose we could explore up here, but haven't we done enough? Alright, traveling to the west, towards the Knoll Fortress. No stronghold. Turn took 12 hours, and it's now night time. Squeaky wheel! Quick save. <laughs> Spotted. More old ruins. All right, everyone using their two points. I punch. I put some card. Oh, anyone just... Okay, she charged because she ran out of arrows. Bad idea. I've done had enough of this. Okay, our warrior's moving in. Actually, no. Carrot is going to use his color spray scroll. And see if he can... He has to target them? Squeaky wheel gets the kick! Apparently. Just as I thought. Two of them. Unconscious. Oh, I'm more than video games. I need a hell. Lest my hamster become an orphan. That's getting hit big. Full plate and fucking steel. Alright, making a tactical retreat. Made a picking for goodness. Alright, Minsk game bait. Hopefully we can finish off the rest I'll do my before best. they wake up. Uh, can I help if none are better? Let's talk more fight! If none are better. Butt kicking for goodness! Oof. I can, but try. There's no grillings, pack a punch. Squeaky wheel gets the kick! Do we have any more healing? We do. Good. Let's probably use another. There be a river. Doesn't look like we can cross it. A bit too deep. Let's look for a way across. Hi, friend. Ah, oh, weary travelers, well met. Neville, the fairest of all fair bandits, at your service. What may I do for you this hour? showing a little bravado, displaying some sarcasm, saying, Perhaps you could escort us through your territory and ensure that we will meet with no harm along the way. What an interesting proposal. Indeed, we could protect you from any monsters you might encounter or any ill-willed travelers along the way. It would be possible, even likely, except for one minor detail. <clears throat> you see, we be bandits here. Cutthroats, ne'er-do-wells, tommy-knockers, and such ilk. We could protect you from all but ourselves, our own urges and greed. In truth, that greed overwhelms us now. Attack, men, that we might satiate it. Being attacked by bandits. Neville and presumably other men too. Well, I'm afraid. Could be drawn into a trap. Backing up. Where are his men? I don't see them. Maybe they're coming. Laying into the bill. Was I'm afraid. It's badly hurt. Another potion. 
Fair enough. Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes! Press! But I'm afraid. I'm not afraid. This guy was tough. He's got good armor. I'm afraid. Down he goes. Yes, oh, omnipresent authority figure. Butt kicking for goodness! Some gold, a scalp, obviously. Dispel magic scroll. What appears to be a magic sword and mail armor. Good, fine. Magic long sword. Unidentified. Mail armor. Dispel magic scroll. Hmm. Well, maybe learn it soon. Khalid has that. Yeah, he has that. Okay. I don't know where his, uh, Neville's men were. That's very strange. That, uh, oh. oh apparently that's them. Hobgoblins? Forward, march! Forward, march! And they're archers, too. Yep. Right. Full plate and fucking cool. steel. Well, let's close the gap and Can catch him off guard. Him? You will. May not not survive. Crap. No more healing potions. Uh, I'm going to tossing her an invisibility potion. The hopes that she can go invisible and not be killed. Forward march! Good at stock. There's one archer. For the group. Still causing trouble, and we got him. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. As you direct. Forward march! Oh, oh my heart's really not in this. This way. Forward march! So that's just a little bit of the game engine, the fact that Neville's hobgoblin men did not come to his aid even though we fled. So, I didn't mean to take advantage of that bug, but it's just the way the game engine works, unfortunately. Oh, finding a scroll, some arrows, and bastard swords, alright. Someone with a room in their door should be. wheels get stuck in. Hmm, he's taking the bastard sword for himself. Cool ones! And it here is invisibility apparently wearing off. Full plate and packing steel. Now that we don't have any more invisibility. Ability potions. Hmm. More healing potions. Anything else? Might make sense to set up camp. Rest and do some healing. Okay. Oh! And also prepare some identify scrolls. Identify spells, rather. Saving? And hopefully resting successfully. Oh, am I interrupting? I don't mean to be rude, but why do you hate cities and towns so much? Yeah, I know you're a druid, but us humans and others gotta live somewhere, you know. It is not the fact that humans build towns and cities, but rather the manner in which they do so. Most humans construct their villages with little, if any, regard for the destruction of nature. Yeah, I guess you got a point there, but what can we do about that? Well, you can start by... <laughs> waving her hand dismissively. Later, when we get to an inn, I'm hungry and I want to take a warm bath. I don't know where they're going to do that. So we're in the middle of the wilderness. And there's the river. That's probably not going to be warm. Resting. Hopefully without being ambushed.
successfully. Carried uh, using the morning to identify the magic equipment they found. A magic flail. A magic long sword. And magic bracers of defense. Thick bands of metal or leather that are strapped, belted, or tied to a character's forearm. Apparently the magic is stilled and the bracers is good only during combat, since most bracers help protect the wearer from injury, or improve chances to strike in an opponent. Exceptions do exist, though such specialized items are rare at best. Hmm. So I believe this is useful, because it provides him some defense. Roughly the uh, defense equivalent of leather armor. Useful. Now we have a magic longsword and a magic flail. I don't think anyone's proficient, but... Hard to turn up your nose at magical equipment. Guess we'll give the magic long sword to Khalid. And the uh, magic flail to Minsk. 